No matter what the cost, telescope eyepieces need to be looked after and occasionally cleaned. But there's a right and a wrong way of actually cleaning eyepieces. And in this video, I'm going to show you the correct way of cleaning and taking care of your telescope eyepieces. Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, eyepieces can often cost just as much, if not more, as your telescope itself. And um, when you think about it, your, your, your eyepiece is the last thing that light's going to pass through when it, uh, till it hits the retina at the back of your eye. And um, a dirty eyepiece is, uh, is not going to do you any favours visually. Now, out of all uh, accessories, eyepieces are usually the one that's going to get soiled in some way. And this is purely because we handle them a lot. And, and, it, and in the dark, it's so easy to just grab all of it wrong and put that finger, greasy finger mark on the lens. Um, and, and that's usually what, what we're dealing with here. It's usually finger marks and oils. And uh, another common thing that can build up on... Um, the, uh, the the actual glass of the eyepiece is uh, the oil from uh, our eyelashes. Uh, eyelashes produce oil just exactly the same as our air. And if you're using, you know, anything where you've got to get quite close up to the uh, actual eyepiece, just blinking, the act of blinking uh, is going to coat and, and eventually, you know, oils are going to build up on that lens. So we need to get rid of these things. Oh, and another thing uh, um, is makeup uh, for any... Uh, of our female astronomers, uh, you've probably noticed that for yourself. If you've got wives and girlfriends that that may have um, had a look through your telescope, you notice that uh, makeup can uh, get on there. And uh, don't worry about it; it, it can be removed. Uh, there's not usually anything, uh, any acidics in makeup uh, that's going to damage. I mean, you can put them on your eye, so you know they're not going to. But they don't want to be on your optics. Uh, so cleaning them. Um, the first thing um, that, that there's an absolute must that you don't do when it comes to cleaning uh, any kind of optics on uh, on uh, scientific optics, let's say, and that is the old t-shirt method. You know, we've all done it. Oh, a little bit of there, we blow on it maybe, and then a little bit of a rub on the t-shirt. Please don't do that. Even for the, the these cheap uh, eyepieces that you, you, you get supplied with your telescope, because um, learning the correct way from the start is always the best way. And then you'll just get into the habit of doing it the right way. And uh, and trust me, once you do get into this hobby, if you just start in with your uh, supplied eyepieces that come with the telescope, I always say that's the first thing you need to upgrade. And like I say, teles telescope eyepieces can be reasonably priced to quite literally astronomically priced. Uh, and, and, and if you do go down the lines of buying a lot more expensive eyepiece, you're going to need to know how to clean it properly. Because unfortunately, like I say, no matter how much you look after eyepieces, they always seem to ac accumulate some kind of grime on there. So I think what we'll do is, uh, first of all, I'll, uh, well, I'll be at, before I load the camera and I'll show you the process, I'll just tell you exactly what you're going to need. Um, now, when, when it comes to cleaning uh, any lenses of, of your telescope, one of these is always your friend. Air is your first step uh, to cleaning, whether it's the lens or mirrors, um, camera lenses, anything really. Always give it a good squirt, one of these. Now, these usually come, you can buy them separate or you can buy, I bought this one in a kit. And uh, included in the kit, you'll also get some of this stuff. Uh, this is lens cleaning solution. Uh, you get different forms. Uh, there's alcohol, alcohol based. There's uh, water based. I believe. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's. I'm, I'm not sure. But it's a. It's a very delicate uh, detergent, basically. And this is what you need. Don't be tempted to use any other substitute. Not even uh, you know diluted soap or, or anything really. Uh, just use the proper stuff, the correct stuff. It's cheap as chips, guys. You know, it's not expensive. I bought this in, like I say, in a kit. It comes with the fluid, 
the blower and also one of these a little light brush um, now all these are basically makeup brushes uh, for applying makeup so uh, you can buy these anywhere but that's what they usually come with uh, the other things you're going to need um, like I say the, these don't cut any corners when it comes to cleaning your optics if you haven't got these things just wait a little bit you, you know you, you, your eyepieces are going to be fine get some of these ordered um, I, I, like I say I'll leave you I may leave some links of where to get this from but like I say quick search on lens cleaning uh, equipment uh, or kits and you'll see there's there's loads of them uh, the other thing that will come supplied is a microfiber cloth uh, something else you're going to need okay um, and also some cotton buds or I believe across the pond you call them q-tips <laughs> these things all right for applying makeup or whatever removing makeup um, a handful of these okay more the merrier and of course your dirty eyepieces and uh, grab all that stuff together if you've got all that let's get into the process of how you actually go about cleaning your eyepieces okay now there's, there's, there's nothing difficult about this um, it's just a technique really um, uh, that you you need to do to, to what this is going to do is minimize any uh, damage that may uh, that you, you may cause to uh, your optics cleaning cleaning them and uh, damage is never 100% uh, that you, you know you're always t taking a risk cleaning optics they're very delicate uh, but take all these precautions and you should be fine now I'm using uh, some very basic eyepieces, something that you probably have got kicking around. These are uh, some of my old ones that I've deliberately left out to hopefully get a little bit of dirt accumulated on there. And you may have also noticed I've uh, taken off the eye cup. You, you don't have to do this. I find it a little bit easier just to clean them. Uh, to take these off, just uh, carefully. Now you can see that I've had this on, on and off that many times. Uh, I actually tore it, so be careful. There you go, look, there's a little tear in it. So be careful as you pull them off, uh, just gently tease them off and they will come off. All right, um, like I say, you, you might not want to do that, uh, but I just find it easier. Okay, first step. Uh, like I said in uh, at the start of the video, get yourself your air blower and this is always our first step now it's always a good idea to take it away from where you're cleaning uh, but because this is a video I'm doing uh, I'd like you to just see what I'm doing now there's another thing to know I'm getting right into the edges here and making sure and just turning it round that there's no grit or dust or anything in there that could be dislodged when we clean them uh, because especially if you live um, in a dusty climate you know sandy climate whatever uh, where this you know you do get a, 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 a good accumulation of uh, this heavy sandy gritty stuff it can get into the nuts and crannies so this is what you need to do it's so important that you give it a good blast of air okay so next step now um in this bottle here all i've done is i've uh, i know i might, might sound like i'm contradicting myself a little bit uh, but this is not going to go on the glass all this is is a weak solution of uh, washing up detergent okay mixed with water in a spray bottle you don't have to do this i've just done this for convenience of uh, the video uh, a little soap bowl of um, water will be fine uh, i forgot to mention that at the start apologies for that now, what you want to do with this is um, get a little bit of kitchen towel or something like that, or even you don't want to be using your microfiber uh, cloth for this, unless you've got plenty of these and a spare one, then use that by all means. But just a bit of kitchen paper like this is always is fine. Now, um, tip to cleaning optics is always spray the cloth that you are going to be applying. Never spray the optic itself okay that always puts far too much of this stuff on whether it's uh, the solution or soap so just on one corner a little square just to get some uh, soap going there now this is your first step it's always a good idea to clean the housing around the glass first all right because you'll find that they'll get a lot of buildup of uh, oils and, and things just around this part here um, 
so g give that a good clean because what you'll find also is when it comes to actually your final clean you're buffing the lens up you can sometimes you haven't cleaned these just a tiny bit of grease on here it'll just drag across your eyepiece all right so start <laughs> as we mean to go on and that's the right way so let's clean all this up okay that'll be fine next step get one of your uh, q-tips cotton buds whatever you want to call it we're going to do the same thing with the soap solution all right you don't want this ringing wet through you know saturated just enough to maybe blotch it take it off and this is just to get in now again try and avoid the glass all right and we're going to just go around that rim there and take off any oil that may have built up there because like i say when you come to actually cleaning them and buffing them up at the end uh, anything left on there can just smear across and you have to start again so like i said we're always uh, we're going to start the right way so spin this round give it another spurt like that a dab on tissue just to take off the access all right and we'll just go around that again take your time folks you know there's no rush that's the thing with astronomy no matter what kind of astronomy you're doing take your time slow so astronomy takes time all right so that should evaporate you can always take another q-tip cotton bud just to go around there and we'll just dry that off so there's our first step all right uh throw these away don't get them mixed up all right you're going to be using a lot of them uh well you know enough because it's a little bit like when you clean a telescope mirror you, you constantly want to be uh changing the thing you're cleaning with now we're going on to our uh, i'm just going to lay this out just to uh, spray against uh there's a, something to catch the spray off. We're onto the cleaning solution again now. Now, exactly the same thing as before, okay? Just a couple of squirts actually on the uh, Q-tip itself or cotton bud. I can tell you what, I'm going to call it cotton bud from now on. Take off the access. Now, this is the technique for this and it's very important. The one thing you do not want to do is start to do this backwards and forwards. All right, because again, if there is any uh, grit or anything in there, um, do you know what? I didn't check my focus on this. Let me just jump up and make sure we're in focus. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know. All the, uh, let's just make sure. I think we're in focus, aren't we, folks? I tell you, I, uh, I check everything. And uh, one thing I do tend to forget is to <laughs> make sure I'm in focus. <laughs> I don't know. I will get used to this uh, YouTube malarkey one of these days. Right, sorry about that, folks. Right, um, so don't do this. All right, this has probably evaporated off now, so I'll, uh, I'll just give this another spray. Spray, there we go, that's enough. What you need to do is start right in one edge like this. All right, so just gently put the cotton bud in it. Uh, and we're not pressing on hard, okay? You don't wanna be putting lots and lots of pressure on there. Now, as you move, you want to move towards the center and as you're going towards the center, turn it uh, away from you, okay? So anti-clockwise, if you like. So we're gonna go from there and turn it that way, okay? Now, ideally, you really want to Switch, switch this round now, all right, and uh, a little spray on a new piece, a nice fresh piece, and then a quarter of a turn on your eyepiece, and do it again from the middle and up, all right? Um, you can sometimes get away maybe doing it twice, but I wouldn't go any more than that. Remember, if this is, if this is a 200 pound eyepiece, you're gonna be taking uh, every precaution you, you want. So do it the right way, learn it the correct way, get rid of this now. In fact, I can see, and uh, probably the camera's not showing up, a little bit of dirt on there. So get rid of that, throw that one away, start with a fresh cotton bud. Try not to lose uh, track of where you are. All right, uh, what you can do is use the label on your eyepiece just so you know where you are and you can keep track of it. Um, so into, the, into there, to the middle, a little turn, quarter turn of the eyepiece, and then spin this round. Okay, spin your bud, cotton bud around, just a little spray, take off the excess, 
and we're about done with this okay so we're always going from the um i hope i hope the cameras i hope i've got this in there i haven't got a monitor to see to see how, um, what you can see so it's like that and a little twist okay so you can see the idea of that if we are picking up any grit any dirt in there as the as the cotton picks it up we're turning it away from the lens okay uh, we're not going to scratch the optics not going to uh, sorry the coatings because uh, that's what we're trying to protect here it's these uh, anti-reflective coatings are very delicate so uh, once you've done that your next step another clean uh, cotton bud we'll get rid of the dirty one and what you want to do now is oh yeah always give it it's, you can never give the, the eyepiece uh, enough of this uh, uh, because, like I say, sometimes you can miss tiny little pieces, even with all this care. So now, um, you want to just check. Now, something I've totally forgot to mention right at the beginning of this. Um, it's always a good idea to... Um, to clean eyepieces in the daytime uh, because in sun in the sunlight or the daylight you're going to see uh, any any smears any any milkiness any you know that, that's on the lens a lot better under natural light than you will artificial light um, I don't know if you've ever cleaned windows at the night at night time <laughs> uh, sorry clean, clean windows and then it, when it comes to night time you just see smears all over everything have I missed all that it's kind of a bit like that you just can see uh, any marks that's left behind in uh, under daylight you can do it in artificial light but I do recommend doing this in the daytime Okay, so have a look around your lens and uh, see if you can see any obvious marks. Now, what you can do at this point now, because we've taken all precautions, you can gently do the buffing moment uh, with, with the cotton bud now like this. All right, just gently though. We're not doing any pressure. There's no pressure there at all. Um, it's a little bit more weight than the cotton bud itself. And we're just going to go around just like that. And again, once again, just check that everything looks okay, that you've not left any marks, any uh, cleaning fluid left behind. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is the correct way of doing it. Like I say, never ever use just a tissue and start doing this, all right? Um, it, it's really bad for, you, for your eyepieces. This is the way to clean it. Now, just um, why I'm on the subject of this, some of your eyepieces may look like this with um, this is a plossal six millimeter okay and it's got a very very small low so obviously you, you can't do the uh, very easily do the method I've just shown you now the way you do these this type of eyepiece is pretty much the same uh, we start always with a good blast of air getting into uh, all around the edges make sure that there's absolutely nothing in there um, it's always a good idea as well to do this upside down like this and that way you're blowing it in and it's, <laughs> it's falling out instead of sometimes just getting trapped in that way you know let gravity help you right and then with what we're going to do with this one is Again, uh, we're going to spray. Oh, sorry, Mr. Step, I'm going to do the cleaning. All right, I'll not bother missing that, uh, wasting your time and, and boring you with that. But do that little wipe around again with the, the light soap solution. It's always a good idea because, uh, like I say, oil does build up on the housing of the um, of the eyepiece. I can't remember which one I sprayed here now. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Now, the way to do with this is to just put it in, okay, like that, and do not be tempted to do this, <laughs> okay? Not a good idea. So we're gonna put it in, and we're just gonna move it, dab it around, all right? Just simply like that, just gently, all right? Turn it round, give it another spray. Put a little bit of solution on it like that, and we're gonna do exactly the same. We're just gonna go in, and we're gonna dab it. I hope the camera's picking all this up right. 
right. Now, if there is enough movement to try and actually bring it from the uh, uh, edge inwards, try and do that. All right. So I'm going to do that. I've probably done that a little bit too much. Get rid of that. I am just literally throwing these on the floor, by the way. <laughs> so one more time, just to make sure. We're just going to dab it. And I think that looks pretty good in there. Like, they are difficult to clean these, but this is the way to do it. Don't be tempted, like I say, but we can do a bit of this at the end. But right at the beginning, always dab and then bring it out and change your cotton bud. Then you pick it up, any debris you do pick up, you're getting rid of it. Okay, next step, just a nice clean bit of cotton, uh, a cotton bud. And this time we're just gonna go in, dab in, taking up any uh, fluid that may be left in there. That looks pretty good. Now we can, again, let's just give it Safe and sure. Sorry, safe and sorry, that's the word, isn't it? Not safe and sure. I mean, some mixed up there. <laughs> By the way, I've had my hand over. My, I've got a microphone down here. I hope I haven't been uh, <laughs> uh, banging on that. Right, clean, clean one. And this time we can just start moving it across the, the lens, just nice and gently, because we know we're not dragging any grit across now. All right, so into the bottom, swip it round. And once again, in there like that. Uh, and like I say, I mean, I mean very gently, uh, and always try and, try, or oh, try to, should I say, bring it from the center. I know you haven't got much room in these little, uh, these uh, higher powered eyepieces. And there we go. That looks pretty good to me. Um, now, what you may find with these type of eyepieces is there may be a fine, uh, just a, a really fine ring right around the edge where you just can't get, don't worry about that, all right, don't worry about that at all. Um, this is, um, like I say, it, it's very minimal, but there you go, guys, that's how to clean your eyepieces, whether it's big optics like this or small optics like this, do it the correct way. Don't be tempted to clean it on your t-shirts. Now, just another little tip uh, about uh, you, when you're using your eyepieces outside. It's always a good idea to keep them capped, keep them covered, especially in the winter time or, well, any time really. Now, what I mean by that is not, um, I haven't got any caps to show you actually. I don't mean the dust caps as such. But just to, uh, because dust caps can be a little bit fiddly in the dark to be taken on, on and off. Uh, but uh, sometimes lids off things like, uh, have a look around. Uh, that you can sometimes find, you know what I mean? Like, like caps off uh, tins or uh, sprays, deodorants, things like that. Them little pot things, uh, they'll just drop over the top of your eyepiece. This is going to stop them from dewing up. Uh, this is one of the reasons I don't particularly like uh, eyepiece trays uh, for beginners because they just tend to lay all their eyepieces out and, uh, and they all, they'll all dew up and then, you, then you're tempted to, in the middle of the, you know, the night, <laughs> to start rubbing it on your t-shirt, you know what I mean? So just keep like yogurt pots, yogurt pots or yogurt, uh, as you pronounce it across the pond, uh, they um they're just as good as well. Uh, just to clean one of those out. Just something that you can drop out and then it's convenient that you can just take that off you, and, and use your eyepiece, eyepiece and then drop the pot over then opposed to, uh, you know, putting dust covers on and off. Um, so that's just a little, little tip for when you're actually using. Another good thing, something I still use today, is an old ice cream container. Something as simple as, as that uh, or even a, an old lunchbox. Anything, and you just lay a, a, a tea towel in there, or a, a small towel, or something like that at the bottom, and then you can take out your selection of eyepieces that you want for the night, and just lay them in uh, the lunchbox, ice cream tub, anything, and just keep the lid on it. That way you don't have to have your dust covers on, you don't have to have any additional pots or anything. 
Um, because if this is your first time with astronomy, you'll find that in different seasons, this will happen to you and you'll just pick your eyepiece up, you'll start looking through things. Why is it all fuzzy? You can't get focus and you might panic a little bit and then you realise you've you know, your, your, your eyepiece is all judo. But in the dark, you know, you, it's not always as obvious um, and uh, not everybody realizes that that happens. So there's another little tip for when you're actually using your eyepieces outdoors. Well, there you go, folks. You now know how to correctly clean and maintain your eyepieces. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, hit that like if you've enjoyed the video. It really does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. In the meantime, guys, keep those eyepieces clean, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.